How's it going, everybody? It's me. Doing a League of Legends video here. Um, I will be going Pantheon mid against Annie, from the looks of it. Uh, I did call top, actually, but... Uh, this Kha'Zix didn't see it, I guess, because there is that stupid thing where some people load in slower and don't see some of the chat. And he insta-locked top, so I was sent mid. So now we have way too much AD. Uh, So I'm just gonna leash the actually. Oh, he's he's there. We have a Yi jungle. Physics uh, top. We have Kazix top. Yi jungle. Me is Pantheon mid. And we have Thresh and Twitch bottom. So we'll see how this goes. Again, I will be against Annie, so we'll see how I can go against this matchup. Annie is really strong because she's not dependent on auto attacks whatsoever, which I would consider the kind of person Panth carry uh, counters because of his passive. So we'll see how it goes. And she does have that strong stun. And with a Rengar jungle, which they do have. Um, especially when Rengar hits 6, it won't be good for me at all. <laughs> if I get ganked with her, uh, with her stun hitting me, I'm done. The new Annie reskin looks really cool. Just saying. No! I'm just failing right now, in general. This Annie's kind of afraid of me. Uh, I guess now that I'm level 3, that's understandable. So I think... I've been experimenting with um, Pantheon builds quite a bit. That's fine. Just burn Danny's flash. And she is low health, which Pantheon loves. He loves low health targets very much. So Annie isn't farming with her Q, which is weird because that's like what it's meant for. You do get mana back every time you kill something with it. I'm probably going to max my uh, E first as I usually do, uh, because it, it just absolutely melts. <laughs> she thought I would chase that. Okay, I don't know what my passive just blocked, but I'm guessing it blocked the flamethrower. <laughs> The uh, incinerate, I think it's called. No, that's the Q. I don't know the exact name, but lock something, which was good. Whatever it was. I see. You know, if you're if you're trying to use this video to learn how to play Pantheon or anything like that, I wouldn't call myself the source to do for that. 
to go for I wouldn't consider myself the source for learning how to use a champ really I'm probably going to go with a um I'm not sure. Uh, I build differently. Sometimes I'll build a, um, a Vamp Scepter, then get an IE, then finish Bloodthirster, and go from there. Or you could go more Bruiser build than AD Caster build. You could go Black Cleaver, maybe a Trinity Force. I can't say I've actually ever built that on here. <clears throat> I may go with Black Cleaver this time around. Generally good item. And he went top. It's because X telling me I didn't call the Mia. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dang it, Kyle. You insta-lock top and you don't look at the Mias. I don't know. And now Thresh is talking trash. I, uh... <laughs> not sure what to think about this. Annie has not yet gone back. And I'm winning in farm, which I notice is a pattern. Not sure why. I've been missing last hits, especially this game. I'm not sure how the sound quality is going to be because the camera's in a new position. It's farther away now, so I'm not sure how that'll go. The stone is not up, so I can be aggressive if I want. All I really need to do is make sure I don't stay pushed. Mid is actually an easy lane to not overextend. Meanwhile, top, there's all this room to be considered overextending. I'm actually going to go bot here, maybe. Oh my god. Unbelievable! He lived with like five. Okay, they got him. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but you can see that Pantheon does do a lot of burst. It's good for, especially if your ult actually hits somebody. You can just do huge gank damage. Panth is a really good roamer because he has good global presence. I'm gonna see how much gold I can stack up before I go back. Oh. And he got blue. And she used her ult to get it. I don't know. Maybe she ganked, I I have no idea. She might have been able to take me there. She fought me. Yes. 
Sin, he's not very good, I gotta say. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> If you can win by a hex drinker mid lane, why wouldn't you? Getting some frame rate here. He just died to Annie, didn't he? <laughs> Sandy. She was probably going bot actually. Her stun's up, I don't know. There's a flash. Everyone's here for some reason, I don't know. <sighs> Go help what needs help, Twitch. All you're gonna do is attract more people here and get me killed. That's happened oh so many times. Save him real quick. Ooh, that was a lot. That was a lot of burst just then. That range, dude. <laughs> hmm. Actually got him. Now he's screwed. I'm coming. For some reason my E wouldn't go there. Got the double though. I'm not sure how it happened. But a Pantheon is a good Pantheon. I got this. And drop. I'm completely out of mass. She could she could just destroy me right now. Might actually go Blade of the Ruin King. That's a good item to have in really any situation. So I'm doing all right, I guess. Good game to be recording. <laughs> I don't actually record this game much. Because of the frame rates kind of irritating. Oh, Kasix, what are you doing? Yeah, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> My spear just disappeared completely. <laughs> just didn't even hit him. Uh, 
I'm just gonna defend Ka here as he gets blue. I actually wasn't trying to steal it there. So shut up. <laughs> the reason I'm playing Pamp, um, honestly, I'll play any top lane to champion that I own. That ult's so strong. It's like Kha'Zix is only like better. <laughs> so, yeah. I need a tier. I completely forgot about that, actually. A tier of the goddess is amazing on Pam. We can't do anything about that. Let's just take Dragon. <laughs> Okay. They don't seem to have ward coverage, actually. Their Thresh is building flat AP. Kind of. But he's a support, so I don't know. I want to say we have decent ward coverage just because that one ward is in a good place. Twitch is level 8 for some reason. I would say Pantheon counters Ezreal just because his passive blocks everything that Ezreal can throw at you. Except maybe the SW. Maybe. Her stuns up. I don't want to deal with that. Not with an Elise here that can combo stun. That would be a, just a pain. <laughs> People fear Pantheon. It's just such high burst. Ten gold. She hit me with that stone of all people. Oh well. <laughs> ah, that stone, dude. <laughs> Thresh engaged that, and I was, I don't know. I was like, oh, maybe everyone's gonna fight it. I'm actually gonna get a tier right now. It's completely essential, honestly. I guess you could live without it, but I prefer not to. Not if you spam as much as I do. I'm ulting in on this. Dang it, Ka! Oh, no. I flash to just mop up the kill because I'm freaking Pantheon and I can do that, but no. Here comes Ka. The 
at least just takes the full E to the face. I have a tier, so I have a lot more liberty to just spam. That's gotta be some kind of glitch. If you go in and out of turret range, it can retarget you and shoot immediately. It's like an auto attack reset for turrets. Do you want minions to take a turret? <laughs> without me. There we go. That is Pantheon capability. That worked out really well, actually. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that um, a combination of the Hex Drinker passive and Thresh's Shield just saved me so hard. I shouldn't have gotten that. So Hex Drinker is... Uh, I don't build it much. But the Shield can save you pretty hard. In situations like that. There we go. <laughs> so that's a victory. And that actually works out because the camera memory is actually not as good as I thought it was. Uh, I tried to record yesterday and the game went like 45 minutes and the camera ran out completely out of memory, so <laughs> that works out. So hope you enjoyed First League Video 414's Pantheon. That was a nice double at the end. And uh, yeah. <laughs>